Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about CSAP checked and unchecked concepts. We'll learn what CSAP checked and unchecked keywords are and how and when to use them. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. CSAP checked. C subject. What the checked keyword in C sharp? The C subject statement or block defines the overflow checking context for two areas. What are those two areas? Number one, integral type arithmetic operation. So when we perform some integral type arithmetic operation, their C subject defines the overflow checking context. Number two, integral type conversions. So when we convert one integral type to another, for example, let's say when we convert double to int, that's where we could apply checked context. So you must be thinking what's overflow checking context, right? So here overflow checking context means when integer arithmetic overflow occurs by performing integral type arithmetic operations or conversion, then it throws a system dot overflow exception at runtime. In the case of constant expression, a compile time error occurs. So C sub check can be used as a checked statement or checked block. Okay, let's try to understand its syntax with the help of examples shown over here. Examples of C sub checked statement. Here I have written int a is equal to int dot max value. So what I'm doing over here, here I have declared a variable of a of int type and assigned the value of the max value of int. And then there is another variable b of int data type where I have used checked statement in which I am adding one to a inside the checked context. As int b cannot hold more than max value of int, so it throws the system dot overflow exception and that's needed. If you do not execute addition operation in checked context, then it won't throw any exception and give us wrong result. And that's not we expect. As we have used checked in a statement and that's why it is called a checked statement. Now see right hand side where we have another example, but this time we are going to use C sub checked block. So here if you see, we write first checked keyword and then opening and closing curly braces and in between we write our C sub statement. So checked context would get applied on all the statements written between these opening and closing braces of this checked context, right? So that's why you are able to see when we are adding one to A and assigning the result to B of int type, it throws system dot overflow exception. Here, if you see, uh, we have not written into this checked keyword inside the statement, we are using this checked block, even though it is getting applied. And that's what this error is getting thrown, right? So that's the beauty of the C sub checked block. Okay, let's see all these things in action in Visual Studio. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the C sub checked. So for that, I have created one console application, C sub checked unchecked, and there is a program.cs file. And this in this program.cs file, I have written this statement. So if you see console.writeline demo of a C sub checked, and then I have written console.writeline integral type arith arithmetic operation as a C sub checked statement. If you see, I have written int a is equal to int dot max value. So a is going to have this max value of the int. And then what I'm doing int b is equal to checked a plus one. So I'm adding a plus one under this checked context and then assigning into the b. So here this checked context will throw system dot overflow exception error. Okay. And uh, at the runtime. Let me go and build this solution. Once I build this solution, if you see build is equal to one succeeded. So we did not get any error at the compile time, but we are going to get the error at the runtime. So for that, let me execute this. Okay, if you see this statement throws error exception unhandled system dot overflow exception arithmetic operation resulted in an overflow. So basically this is the expected one because this B integer value cannot hold more than max value of the end and that's what this error is thrown and that's the expected one right so we know this is going to happen so such type of scenario what we need to do we need to put these two statement into the try block and then the exception is going to get captured at the catch block and that's what we are going to handle it right okay so here we are going to see the demo of the integral type arithmetic operation as a c sub checked block so that's what i have written int b checked inside that i have initialized this value int a is equal to int dot max value and b is equal to a plus one if you see i have not used the checked statement over here In, instead i have written these two statement inside this checked block so these two statement is going to have this checked context applied okay so now let me execute this and see the output okay if, if we go and build the solution 
it will it won't give any error it build one succeeded now let me go and execute this okay so here also exception unhandled is thrown by this statement even though i have not used checked checked statement here instead of that i have written these two statement inside this checked block and we are going to get the same behavior right c sub unchecked c sub unchecked what is c sub unchecked the c sub unchecked statement or block ignores the system dot overflow exception by discarding any high order bits that don't fit in the destination type that's why we get unexpected result please note that in c sharp unchecked is applied as default even though we are not mentioning unchecked this unchecked context is defined by default in c sharp you need to keep in mind okay c sharp unchecked can also be used in unchecked statement or unchecked block okay let's see the examples of the c sharp unchecked statement see here i have written int a is equal to int dot max value so what i am doing over here i am creating one variable a of the int data type and assigning the max value of int to it and then in next statement i have written int b is equal to unchecked a plus one so here i'm adding a plus one under this unchecked context so it won't throw any system dot overflow exception because it just ignore it and that's what we are going to get the value of the b which is the unexpected results so it is not going to be correct one right because b has limit of that can contain max value of int but if you are going to add extra value it won't throw any error but it will have some unexpected results okay and that's what if you see the examples over here here what i am done in the next statement console dot right line statement i have written i am printing the value of a and value of b and if you see the output value of a is equal to this number got printed right so that is the max value of the int that got printed against this value of a and value of b if you see this value got printed with the minus sign which is unexpected one it's not correct right so the, the correct value should be this value plus one is equal to this value but the value of b got printed with a negative sign that's not correct okay if you see the examples of the c sub unchecked block over here here what i have written unchecked opening and curly braces and inside that i have written some statement so here in this statement again i'm doing the same thing int a is equal to int dot max value int b is equal to a plus one and then i'm printing the value of a and value of b and if you notice i have not written unchecked statement over here because this statement these all these statements are written under this unchecked block so whatever the statements are there inside this curly braces all unchecked is going to get applied okay and then what i am doing i am just printing into this console window if you see the value of a it got this number and value of b it came with the minus sign with some number okay the correct value should be this number plus one is equal to this number but this value of b got printed with a negative sign that's not correct right here we are going to see the demo of the c sub unchecked so first statement i have written integral type arithmetic operation without mentioning the unchecked keyword right so as we know that even though we are not mentioning unchecked keyword it is by default in c sharp right so that's what i just wanted to prove that so for that purpose i have written int a is equal to int dot max value and int b is equal to a plus one here i am adding one value to a and that's what i have written int b is equal to a plus one and this b value can have only the max value of the int but if you see here i am adding one value extra to a and a is nothing but the having this max value of the integer so ideally this b when we are going to assign it it is just going to be overflow ideally it should throw the error but uh, by default in c sharp unchecked is applied what unchecked does it's just going to ignore this system overflow exception and that's what unexpected value is going to get stored into this v variable and that's what we are going to print into this statement console dot write line b value without using unchecked keyword b and then new line similarly in the next statement what i am doing integral type arithmetic operation as a c sub unchecked statement so here i have explicitly mentioned this unchecked keyword and then i am writing a plus one under this unchecked context so it will also ignore this system overflow exception error and some assign the value to the b over here and that's value i'm going to print into this console window the third statement what i have written integral type arithmetic operation as a c sub unchecked block here i have written unchecked statement here i'm going to show the demo of the c sub unchecked block so how we are going to write the uncheck we need to write the unchecked keyword first and then opening in curly braces and then inside that we need to write this statement so here i can remove this unchecked part right and ideally it should work 
okay so the value that we are going to assign to the b value it should get assigned and it should not throw any error because this unchecked is getting applied over here okay so at the last time just going to print into this console window b value with the c sub unchecked block okay let me execute this and see the output okay so output got appear into this console window right and if you see here this is the output integral type arithmetic operation without mentioning the unchecked keyword this value got printed right b value without using unchecked keyword and then integral type arithmetic operation as c sub unchecked statement here also b value with c sub unchecked statement it got printed and here b value with the unchecked block it got printed so everywhere the b value is same because even though we are not going to mention unchecked it is going to get applied by default in c sharp and that's what this value you know we received here i have used in unchecked statement even though value is same here i have used unchecked block here also i got the value of the b right so why microsoft has you know applied this unchecked by default because in checked context everything is going to get verified whether arithmetic overflow is happening or not so this check was applied over there so it just hits the performance whereas in c sub unchecked we are not going to verify any check and that's why the performance is boosted that's what microsoft had used this unchecked keyword by default in the c sharp program checked versus unchecked in c sharp so here we are going to see the difference between checked and unchecked context in c sharp number one the c sub checked statement or block defines the overflow checking context for integral type arithmetic operations and conversion in other words in a checked context the exception is raised by the arithmetic overflow whereas the c sub unchecked statement or block ignores the system dot overflow exception by discarding any high order bits that don't find the destination type in other words in an unchecked context arithmetic overflow is ignored and thus no exception is thrown Number two, a checked exception needs to be handled by using a try catch block, whereas an unchecked is not required to be handled by using a try catch block. Number three, let's see the conversion examples with the checked over here. Here, when we try to convert double max value to int in checked context, it throws system dot overflow exception because arithmetic overflow occurs. Whereas when try to convert double max value to int in unchecked context, it just ignored system dot overflow exception but give us the wrong out okay so when we work with the checked and unchecked in c sharp keep these differences in mind okay now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what c sharp checked and unchecked keywords are and how and when to use them we also talked about the differences between checked and unchecked in c sharp that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video